Hey everyone, what's going on? Baru here, and today I've got the sixth episode of my Weapon Parts Guide. In this series, I take a look at the parts that make up the guns in Borderlands 2, and we go over their positive and negative attributes. So let's go ahead and get this episode started by going over the grips. And a lot of people have been asking me, what are the best parts? So the best parts for an assault rifle is to use an SMG. But anyway, let's go over the grips. So for our first grip, we have the Vladoff grip. This one will increase your rate of fire, but will reduce your weapon damage, as well as lowering your recoil recovery, making it uh, take longer to become accurate again after shooting. Also remember, as with everything else, matching the grip to the manufacturer that makes it will get you a mag size and reload bonus. So for example, Vladoff on Vladoff assault rifle, etc., and etc. Moving on to our next grip, we have the Tor Grip. This one will increase your weapon damage, however, it will reduce your accuracy as well as uh, increasing the amount of recoil and increasing the time it takes to reload your gun. Moving on to the next one, we have what I consider to be one of the worst grips, unless you're using a dull assault rifle, is the Doll Grip, and this one will reduce the recoil as well as give you faster recoil recovery, but will reduce your damage. It, if you're not using a doll assault rifle, never have this grip, but if you are, make sure you have it because every doll part you match with doll will give you a plus one to your burst fire count. Moving on to the next grip, we have the Jacob's grip. Now this one will increase your damage uh, more so than the Tor grip. However, you will lose rate of fire, reload speed, and it will also increase the recoil. Definitely don't recommend this on most of the assault rifles because its negatives are just too high. Anyway, moving on with the next one, we have our final grip, which is the bandit grip. This one will increase your magazine size. However, it will also reduce your accuracy as well as reducing your reload speed. So now that we've gone over all of the grips, let's go ahead and take a look at the stocks next. So starting off with the stocks, we're going to go ahead and go over the Vladoff one first. And before I go over what it uh, boosts, keep in mind that stocks don't show up on the weapon card as to what they uh, affect. If I say they increase accuracy, uh, it won't actually show up on the gun card, but your accuracy does increase, etc, etc. Anyway, for the Vladoff, this one will give you faster recoil recovery, however, will give you increased recoil for your gun. For the next one, we have the Jacob stock, and this one will increase your accuracy. However, it will also increase your recoil as well as giving you slower recoil recovery. Moving on to what is the best stock for everything, we have the doll stock. Now, this one is the best stock for any manufacturer or gun. Uh, this will give you a slight accuracy increase, will reduce or increase your recoil recovery and will severely reduce the amount of recoil that your gun has. If you're using Doll, it will increase the burst fire count by one. So as I said, this has no negative effects to it. So there's no reason to not use a Doll stock on everything. Anyway, moving on to probably the worst one. We have the Bandit stock. It does nothing. Yep, no positive, no negative. It's not even a stock. It literally does nothing. Moving on to the next one. And now for our final stock, we have Torg. This one will uh, lower your recoil recovery, but will increase your recoil reduction overall. However, not as much as the uh, doll grip. Uh, overall, it's not that great of a stock, though. So now that we've gone over all of the different stocks, let's go ahead and take a look at the barrels. All right, and so for our first barrel, we have the bandit barrel. This one will increase your weapon damage. However, you will take a pretty small hit to your accuracy. Overall, not that bad of a barrel to have in general. Moving on with our next one, we have the doll barrel. Now this one should really only be used on a doll weapon because it will, uh, as with all doll weapons, it will 
reduce your recoil, increase your accuracy, give you faster recoil recovery, however will reduce your weapon damage. If you're using a doll weapon, it'll increase the burst count by one. If you're not, then this is just a low recoil, low damaging barrel and overall not that great to use. Moving on with the next one, we have the Jacob's Barrel. This one will increase your weapon damage as well as, well as increasing your accuracy. However, you will get increased recoil and the fire rate will also take a pretty significant hit, so definitely don't recommend this on Vladoff uh, assault rifles. Moving on with our next one, we have the first Vladoff barrel. Now, uh, Vladoff is the only one that makes two barrels in the same uh, weapon type. So the first one is the non-spinny gun version. This one will give you fire rate, magazine size, however it will increase your recoil and reduce your accuracy. Overall, I prefer the first one over the spinny gun because it, uh, the accuracy loss from the spinny gun is pretty significant and yeah. Anyway, moving on to the spinny gun variant. Uh, this one will give you accuracy reduction instead of increasing the recoil. The fire rate will be much higher, but it will take a couple of seconds to actually achieve that rate of fire. Um, it, the magazine size bonus is also higher, but as a downside, the, as I said, the accuracy is much more drastic in the uh, loss. Also, you will never be able to hit fire this thing. Side note, how exactly does this gun work? If the bullet starts here, how exactly do you fire it and keep the momentum going straight down? How does this even work? God damn it. Moving on to our next barrel though. We have the E-Tech barrel. This is probably the worst possible barrel. And why is that? Because it reduces your crit chance to next to nothing. You will get some uh, massive increase in damage for body shot. However, your critical will go down to a whopping 0.16. Yeah. And if you're on Creek, you can achieve negative damage, as uh, I've already covered that before. However, yeah. Anyway, overall, don't go for blasters. Not worth it in any way, especially if they're banded. Moving on with our final barrel. We have our final barrel, which is the Torg barrel. Now, depending on the manufacturer that you attach this to, um, it can either be very good or very bad. If you combine it on a Jacobs, I definitely prefer them because they have very nice damage, some uh, decent splash, as well as having a very nice fire rate. Flat off is also uh, fairly decent and Bandit can actually make some good use of, out of it, uh, especially with Melee Krieg if you need to lower your health to a certain point. If you put this on a Torg though, uh, your damage is going to be high for one shot and it's going to be next to really nothing so on Torg assault rifles definitely don't use this and for doll I also would not use this barrel because it's not that great so there's that anyway so that covers all of the barrels now so let's go ahead and take a look at the different accessories that make up the guns all right, and now going over the different accessories. The first one we have here is the magazine size, which you can find just above the stock of the assault rifle. Now, normally I put an annotation in the top right, but instead there's going to be an image in the bottom left that you'll be able to see uh, which prefix goes with which uh, manufacturer. And this little image was made by Loot Turtle on the Gearbox forums. Anyway, moving on to the next accessory we have the accuracy prefix now this one again can be found on just above the stock of the assault rifle and as i said will increase your accuracy but nothing else really so we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next one which will be the melee attachment and it's pretty obvious as to how to tell if you have the melee attachment as always with all bladed weapons outside of the uniques this is a 50 percent uh, damage bonus to your melee and that is it and moving on to the next one although one note for the rapier that has this attachment uh, you can have uh, two of them instead because the melee is defaulted onto it already so to the next one 
we have the grip which your character doesn't even use instead he just puts his hand through the grip but this one will reduce your recoil as well as giving you faster recoil recovery um, not really necessary since the doll stock will pretty much uh, negate this accessory entirely since you can't have too much recoil reduction so overall not that great of an accessory to have anyway on to the next one we have my personal favorite which is the swift prefix uh, you can find this attachment on the right of the assault rifle this one will give you uh, rate of fire increase by a significant amount as well as increasing the projectile speed which is invaluable for torque uh, assault rifles in addition it will also make uh, if you use special projectiles like the hail it will make them travel further so you will need to adjust to the new uh, travel speed and how far off they go it's not really a downside it's just something you're gonna need to get used to anyway moving on to our next one now for our next one we have the first of two damage accessories they both have their positives and negatives, and it's really up to you which one you want to use. They both boost damage by the same amount, but one goes for accuracy, the other goes for fire rate. Uh, so first off, we have Rabid. It will increase your damage as well as your fire rate. However, you will take a significant hit to your uh, accuracy. And if we take a look at the other one, uh, we have Ferocious. This will increase your damage again. You'll keep your accuracy. However, you're going to lose some rate of fire as well as increasing the recoil. Uh, both of these accessories look the same and can be found on the right side of the assault rifle. But it's really up to you how exactly you want to use your assault rifle. You're gonna, if you're going to go long distance, you're going to want the accuracy. If you're going to be relatively close, then obviously the fire rate. However, overall, for all the prefixes, I prefer the Swift one. But anyway, now that we've gone over all of the different accessories, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the sights next. Unlike the rocket launchers, however, though, they do not have any sort of stats, so it's all up to personal preference. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So now that we have gone over all the other parts, it's time to take a look at the sights. As I said, unlike everything else, or unlike the rocket launchers, these have no effect on stats, so it's personally up to uh, whatever kind of zoom you want on your uh, assault rifle. So I'm just going to go ahead and name them off, zoom in with them, and take a look at each of them. So first off, we have the bandit sight. Next up is flat all. Next is Jacobs. And now for the Torg site. And finally, the doll site. All right, and that is going to wrap it up for all of the different assault rifle parts. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Sorry it's taken so long to finish the series. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you would like me to do next. I believe a lot of people wanted me to do shields. So I'll probably take a look at that next. So expect that to be sometime early next week. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.